right, we are cruising here in North Hall at SEMA. And uh, this is full of first time vendors and we're coming up to Battle of Builders right now. There is so much happening. There is so much product. There are so many amazing vehicles. Uh, it's almost hard to take in, but we're gonna do our best. Now, Jordan, can you please tell us about your build that we got? This is beautiful. <laughs> so this is a 1987 uh, Mercur, and we did a Ford EcoBoost swap in it. So basically, the drivetrain out of a 2016 Mustang goes into a T56, tra uh, sorry, TKX transmission, carbon fiber drive shaft, 8.8 .8 differential out back, uh, custom brakes, big wheels, uh, custom flare kit on the car, custom hood, and. Uh, Pretty uh, stock looking interior, but all gone through and upgraded leather, and new gauges and all, all kinds of good, good stuff. Now, obviously, I mean, this car is beautiful. It's flawless. Uh, how long does something like this take? Uh, on and off, this car took us about three years to build, but probably about a solid year for the solid time in the car. Gotcha. Is this your first time in this competition? Uh, we've entered four different cars in the competition. This is our first time getting uh, this far. We've gotten uh, top 40 in 2019 with a 73 Celica that we built, but uh, this is the first time getting this far. Okay, good luck. You guys, you guys did a brilliant job. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right behind me is this beautiful 1969 C10 built from a 19 year old named Charles Spencer. Check this out. Okay, I was just bragging about this uh, 69 C10 and I found the one who did it. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, so I bought this when I was 14. Uh, I spent the last four years working on it in my backyard and then I took it to my dad's shop where I did all the body work and all the paint. Um, it's got ride tech, coilover suspension, it rides great on the road, Ron Davis racing radio. radio. So you actually, this is a runner, you drive this? Oh yeah, okay. I took it to Paul home. Okay, right on. Excellent. So how long did it take you to complete? Four years. Four years, and the thing I like about this is that this is kind of a family affair. So it's not just, you know, a company or a shop yeah. or this okay. is your family invested time into this oh, yeah. project. You said your dad owns a shop. Is that a body shop? Yeah, uh, we do everything. We do body work. We do we rebuild engines, build engines. We do interior. We do all of it. Yeah. yeah. How excited were you when you found out you were going to be highlighted here in Battle of the Builders? Oh, I was stoked. <laughs> I won the golden ticket for the young guns, and then I went all the way to the top four. What about this build was uh, a challenge for you? The whole thing. I had to. Okay. I I learned how to weld. I learned how to paint. I learned how to do upholstery. It was all learning. You didn't have these skills necessarily. You actually learned while you were building it. Yeah, I grew up around it, so I got to wash a lot of it and I got to fine tune a lot of it. And there's just different things that I did to this that we haven't done to every other car. Yeah. And how old are you? 19. 19. Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Cool. No, hey, this is super cool and congratulations uh, on your great success being so young. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a 1968 Jeep Super Wagoneer. Uh, really clean, original, low mile truck that we started with. And we had a roadster shop build us a long travel suspension chassis. Uh, independent front, solid axle nine inch, or solid nine rear. Um, goal was just to build a really clean vintage four x four that stands the test of time, very timeless build. And uh, built it for Travis Lienemann and he's gonna drive it as a daily driver. Oh, no way. It so I mean, this is going like, to be on the road. Yeah, it was either buy an Escalade or something or build a Wagoneer. Well, I think he could have bought 10 Escalades, but yeah. he's so got something way cooler. But 
he's got something that's not an Escalade. That's right. That's right. right. That's yeah, the key no, right uh, there. He was here yesterday, saw it for the first time, and is in love with it. So that's that's rewarding. That's awesome. Now, have you been involved with Battle of the Builders before, or is this your first time? This is uh, either, I believe this is my fourth time being in Battle of the Builders. Okay, so this is not your first rodeo. Yeah, I've been, I've like, been around it a you, time you, this, so. this is an old hat for you. What's different this year? Have you made it this far before? I've never made it this far. I'm in the top four this time. I've uh, been in the top 10, top 12 every year that I've been here, but now we're a notch higher so yeah here we go hey well man this is beautiful beautiful work thank you for sharing it with all of us and good luck today all right thank you awesome yes, thank you. okay so i have to admit i am biased behind me is a 1969 fastback it is my favorite car in the world I mean, I, I missed it at first, but we found out that you not only have that one up on stage over there, but this is yours also, and this is in the top four. This is in the top four. This, this is in the top four. So tell us about your second build so here at SEMA today. This is a 1960 Buick Invicta Custom. Uh, it was a nine-year build. Um, literally, we've made everything on this car, but the tires, the cast engine block, and the cast heads. Uh, it's got Art Deco suspension under it, all of it's machined. It looks like it doesn't work, but it's all cast I-beam, multiple finishes. Uh, the top side, the car's been wedged sectioned, two inches in the front, zero in the rear. All trim has been machined. Um, the wheels, they're a nine-piece layered wheel. Um, you said a nine-piece nine layered, piece layered so wheel. Yeah, it, it looks like a 15-inch well, wheel, but it's actually a 19-inch wheel with a false uh, fake white wall that nests into the curb feeler or curb, curb protector of the tire. Uh, then all those layers just keep stacking on. That's and, crazy. Yeah. Those are details that at first glance you could miss. And that was probably a lot of time, That's, energy and money thrown into it. Just that yeah. simple concept. Those are probably the most expensive wheels ever made right now. So. Oh, right on, right on. That's great. So you're multi-year and now you're multi-car. Yeah. What makes you different? Obviously you're finding huge success here. So what do you think is the key to that? I got a great great team and great clients. And they yeah. come to us and let us build what we build. And, uh, you know, it's the dream. Yeah. Hey, man, well, you're, you're killing it again. Uh, these are beautiful cars, and I would love to interview you after you win. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah, hey, buddy, take care. Thank right, you. Thank you. Thank You have this car or this truck here, uh, Adams Customs. You're obviously Adams Customs. Yeah, so that... it's me and my brother. I did personally build this truck, so. That's why I love this more and more. So we are surrounded by people trying to get vehicles at home to look nice. And here, you did this in your home garage. That is correct. You did your body work, you did your, your